What's up, everybody? Back in with another episode of W Disney, bro. This is the name of this game. Is W Disney, Disney Dreamlight Valley, aka Wisney Ween White Valley, because there's nothing but W's on this game. I want to update this house real quick and just see what it looks like. I don't have a bunch of money, but I got a. Ooh, this is twenty thousand. We gotta do it though. We gotta do it. I hate to spend it, but we got to. Ooh. Okay. That's looking a lot more respectable. That's looking a lot more respectable. Look at the crib, man. Yeah, we got some little pots outside. How much is the next upgrade, though? I'm thinking like 50k. Greetings, neighbor. Ooh, 75k. Why you do me dirty like that, Scrooge? I mean, I know you Scrooge for a reason, man. But damn, 75k. I just want to see how much is an extra room. Okay, the rooms don't cost that much. I could add an extra room in here. It's not really necessary, but another 10 by 10 is only 3,000. Let's add a room to each side. Let's do that. Let's add a 10 by 10 to each side. How do the rooms look? Oh, they actually have a doorway. Animal Crossing. They actually have a door instead of just a damn dark abyss hallway. Wow, look at that. So we got a full room on the left. I mean, on the right now. I'm going to add one on the left, too. 10 by 10 we might as well spend all our money right i don't want to put one in the center because i want to do a flat screen couch situation as soon as you walk in you know how to you know how i do it and then on the left we could have maybe a bedroom and on the right maybe we could have a storage room or maybe i'll do storage out here i'm not sure but yeah i like that man i like that a lot i wonder does that change the outside of the house i'm i'm imagining no but let's see yeah it doesn't it would have been kind of cool if it extended it out but i know it can only get so big it has to stay at this footprint that's pretty nice though so that's what i wanted to do this episode i actually wanted to get into making the town look better because right now we have a very ugly situation so let's go in here i was also thinking about making a baddie too an alternative like basically let's pretend that is my girlfriend and in the game or my wife in the game and sometimes she takes over and we could make a different different person a disney baddie we could make a disney baddie it'd be kind of it'd be kind of interesting that's what i'm saying disney if you're listening first of all make me a um ambassador or whatever for this game because this game is too lit and i uh, love it and i can promote it and help you promote the game number two Y'all need to make presets so you could have a couple different characters you play with. At least two slots where you could have a male and female variant. So you could have a preset. I mean, you could have two males, two females, whatever. But have a preset where you could have at least two characters you could switch back and forth. I think that would be a W idea. And since this is a W game, W Disney, you know what I'm saying? Why not give us the ability to have two different characters to switch back and forth with just so we have that that dope ability to do that whoops i didn't mean to put that on her i don't want a dot bruh take the dot off i'm not gonna make her an actual character but just saying for an idea w disney idea right here uh what i i like the big round ones yo I like the big round ones i'm just playing with this right now i ain't gonna do it damn what eyebrows are these w disney w disney post w disney you don't have a whole lot of oh that's the opaqueness got you bruh got you what's this color though oh that's the other other tone i see you i see you w disney i see you oh is that lip color or lipstick that's lipstick right i kind of like that you could make it where w disney okay now we could actually add a little bit of a little bit of anime uwu look going what is anime uwu look i don't know everything is anime uwu looks i guess when you think about it i really don't know what i'm doing but oh i'm changing the 
the highlight. Okay, I see now. So you can make that a little redder, kind of like she got some, I guess, some anime ooh streamer look going. Okay, W Disney Princess right here. W Disney Princess. Y'all should have never got me started on that damn WL stuff. I'm just saying, it's just so great, man. So great. Okay, W W girl character right here, bro. W girl character. I kind of like that one too. It's so many dope hairstyles to not have that many. And everything still looks amazing in here. W Disney Princess right here, though. I like this little short one, to be honest. I mean, all of them, I think, going to look good. The straight ponytail look. We got the, the more uh, curly hairs. We got the dreads or the braids, whatever. I'm not a fan of the short look, though. I ain't going to lie. This one. This one is hitting on another level, too. I kind of like this one. There's a nice combination of, like, this one and this one. Is be this one. Uh, I don't know. I kind of like that other one better. I'm acting like I'm going to actually keep it. It would kind of be a shame not to, though, at this point, wouldn't it? W Disney Princess. I just think it's so dope that you can change outfits in between. So she could be grounded in nature as well, or we could have her. She could wear the same earrings. Oh, she could wear the hoops. W Disney Princess. <laughs> W Disney Princess, bruh. W Disney Princess in the chat, yo. Oh, damn. This is why you... This almost said Nintendo. Game Loft. Disney. Make it make it a option where you could have two choosable characters that you can play with. Just make it a preset, bruh, so I can save my dude's preset. And then I can have a girl Disney Princess preset. So I can have, like... That's my girlfriend. Sometimes she take place when I'm out of town to hold it down. P.O.P. Hold it down. You know what I'm saying? Like, because this girl looks too official to not play with her, yo. She looking too official. That's a dope outfit, too. But I kind of like the little mom jean look. See? W Disney, bruh. W Game Loft. W Disney. W girl character in the game. I'm just saying. W all of that. Come on, we gotta we gotta rock with her, y'all. We gotta rock with her. I mean, I'm gonna miss my dude for a minute, but we gotta rock with with this is gonna be my girlfriend in the game. So if y'all wanna know, I was doing all that talking about having a girlfriend. This is this is her in the game, yo. This is her in the game. Is she gonna be grounded in nature? I think she's gonna be grounded in nature. Just because, you know, that's how we do. The backpacks are way bigger on the female characters. They don't size down. Which is okay. She could wear the same stuff though. So she could have the diamonds and stuff. We need some ankle bracelets. <laughs> I feel like I'm playing the Sims, yo. We need some ankle bracelets, yo. We need some ankle bracelets. The the mouse ears actually look cooler on the girls than they do on me. On my character. I'm not even going to do the mouse ears, I don't think, though. I kind of like the hat look, yo. She look like a fun mom at Disneyland, yo. A baddie, though. A baddie mom at Disneyland. Put her in the crown, bro. When your bit this bad, you got to throw her in the crown. Do we do the crown? Do we do it? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. We doing, doing the crown. Damn, I really wasn't going to make this a character, y'all. Like, y'all. Oh, companions. Bro, we got companions. This is the first time I've seen this. We can switch com W Disney, bruh. W Disney. Major common. Listen. Common Disney W in the comments. Like, are you serious? We can just put, like, this is crazy. We can just change companions, like, on the fly. So instead of having that dumbass alligator, ice cream alligator, we can have a little squirrel. Come on, man. This skirt probably hit different, too. Let's see what the skirt look like. Yeah, the skirt hit different, too. I ain't gonna lie. I like the jeans, though. Let's just rock with the jeans for a minute. Oh, that's cool, too. Let's rock with the jeans for a minute. It almost looks like she got a body jewelry on around her waist, which is dope. I don't think that's what that is. That's supposed to be underwear, but it looks good, though. We got the glasses going, if you want to do the glasses. W Disney, bruh. I mean, I don't know how many times I got to say it. I don't know how many times I got to say it. I got to say it loud enough for everybody to hear me across the world. W Disney. So this is about to be, she going to take the place. She even walks different. It looks like that damn can is heavy as hell, yo. Now, she almost walks more normal. W Disney, bruh. W Disney. The fact you could switch characters on the fly. So the storyline, <laughs> I'm coming up with storylines in Disney, yo. 
Make sure you go check out the Sam series if you haven't checked that out. If you're new to the channel, I'm always coming up with crazy storylines and lit content on the Sam's too. But storyline update for the Disney thing. I had just updated this house, so I had to go out of town for a business meeting because, you know, we got to afford this new house that I updated. So my dude went out of town. He going to be gone for a little while. So his girlfriend stepped in. I was like, yo, I'll hold it down for you, you know what I'm saying? Take care of the Disney uh, princesses and little creatures and all of that. So this is Bay, and Bay going to take care of the, the island for me for a minute. W Disney, W Storyline. I just think this is so cool, man. And they really, without having to add a lot, they added a nice amount of customization so you don't feel left out. Like, you got nice hairstyles that are straight, you know that are curly, that are braids, that are dreads. It fits right. It looks good. It's just, how did they accomplish that with so little options? I don't know. But all I can sum it up to is you already know. W Disney, bruh. Okay, so what I said I wanted to do this episode before I created a whole new situation for myself. Hey, Let's take a selfie. Let's take a selfie, yo. <laughs> Come on, Mickey. Oh, damn. She litter than me. How she litter than me with the pose, though? That is a dope thumbnail how do i save these thumbnails i'm trying to save them now but i'm trying to save them i hope they're saving that's a dope pick man y'all know i gotta simp over the cartoon girls i mean if i ain't sipping over the anime cartoon girls what am i doing i mean i don't know only some people hate on that you know what i'm saying only some people the real ones understand yo the anime cartoon girls they hit different they definitely hit different don't even sit here and try to act like they don't you know what i'm saying I know a person in real life always hating on me because I be simping for the anime characters. But at the end of the day, like, it's all fun because we're going to be in the metaverse soon. And we're going to have these in real life. <laughs> we're going to all be living in the metaverse eventually, bro. So why not set myself up for greatness? This is a W game, bro. I, I'm just saying, I... I was not expecting the character. I knew I could make a, a, a girl character and stuff, but like, I didn't expect her to come out this dope. And then for the tools and everything, it's the same size, so it scales properly. It just really has a vibe to it. It really does. But I need to clean this town up. So stop walking around talking about W Disney and actually get to making some differences in this game. You know, if I had the perfect situation, if this move like the Sims move with the mouse, like if I could just grab the mouse and do the same controls, they're similar, but they're not quite the same. Man, that would be, I would be in heaven right now. It'd be like playing the Sims with Animal Crossing, with Stardew Valley, with like Fable. Y'all just got to add fighting. If y'all add fighting, we're done, bro. We are done. W Disney. Already W Disney though. Let's keep it one thou well. I want to get some of these coconut trees and put them because I haven't been mining them or harvesting them very often because they're kind of out the way and I forget about them I'm not gonna lie they're so out the way sometimes I forget about them which is kind of like real life man sometimes people get so distant from each other you forget about them doesn't mean that you dislike them or don't want to deal with them you just kind of forget about them you know what I'm saying forget about your troubles forget about your sorrows you feel me which is kind of facts I'm just moving a couple things around just because I was making sure there wasn't any more coconut trees. It's just so dope that you can look at the island from a bird's eye view. I mean, and then design the island. Oh, I could move Moana's boat. How am I just not finding out I could move Moana's boat? How is it that this game is so good? I hate to keep throwing Animal Crossing under the bus because I love Animal Crossing. I really do. Or I did. I still do. It's just like, you know how much effort, anybody that ever played Animal Crossing knows, you know how much effort that would have taken if I wanted to move Moana's boat in Animal Crossing? I would have had to go to Tom Nook, ask him to move it, pay him to move it, time travel a day ahead until it was moved to even see what it would look like. You know what you do in this game? Pick it up, move it. What am I going to say next? W Disney. W Game Loft too. Don't forget about Game Loft. Game Loft is the developer that put this together. You can't leave Game Loft out. So W Disney, but also W Game Loft. I feel like I know that company though. Game Loft? I might be thinking of Game Freak with Game Boy Color Pokemon, I mean, but Game Loft sounds familiar. But it might be because I'm thinking of Game Freak and Squaresoft. I gotta check out if Game Loft made any other games because that name sounds familiar. It really does. 
All right, I'm going to just put these banana trees and these coconut trees down here. I got to start theming this a little bit better as well. I got to theme this, this whole little island better. Theme it out. Theme it at. You know what I'm saying? Got to theme it at. Theme it at. Okay, I'm going to keep those bushes. We do have these little trees. I do like the little nut trees. I think those are coconut. Not coconuts, but coca space nut. I don't know, though. For sure. Oh, wait. I can move the stuff from over here? Well, that's kind of cheating, ain't it? Since I unlocked this, I could just move the items from over here over here so I can get to them. Well, damn. It's not a lot over here, but whatever these little pink trees are, I can move them over. This game is great. It's, it's just greatness. This is a great, great game. Great game. Fantastic, marvelous game. W game. They're good people. Good people over at Disney. Good people at Disney, good people at Game Loft. Love the people, good people. W game, love this game. For real though, no lie, no lie, no lie, E-I, E-I. I'm just trying to get some of the stuff down where I'm gonna use it at, cause I'm gonna change all of this. I'm gonna change my garden center. I might even move where my house is, cause my house, I, w I almost wanna make like a little suburb. Like make a look, cause this is a nice little house. This reminds me of a nice little wealthy suburb, high end suburb kinda house. And it's only gonna get nicer and nicer. So I'm gonna try and make it look kinda like a nice little neighborhood. Now Mickey's house, what's Mickey's house look like? Mickey's house is kinda, Mickey's house kinda look like a playhouse. So I don't know if Mickey's house is gonna look good next to my house. What about Goofy's house? Yeah, Goofy's house is kind of run down too. Because I was going to make like a little suburb and have everybody's house kind of by each other. And then maybe had a restaurant, the bank, this apartment building, all of that up here. And then down low, like by the swamp, maybe had his truck. Maybe even move Wally down here to the swamp. Because I like Wally, but this truck is kind of ugly parked up here. I feel like it would look better maybe down here somewhere. Oh, this... Can you go? I didn't know you could go up here from here. I had no idea you could go up here from here. See, that kind of fits better down there, don't it? Look at that. That almost fits perfect down there in the swamp. It looks a lot better there than it does up here. And then we got the restaurant. What about the wizard spot? The wizard spot? Uh, that's looking kind of enchanted. That could probably stay down here. Oh, uh, yeah. Moana and uh, Maui, they over here. I want to break this, though. I got to break this. I actually might want to move this stuff over a little bit. Maybe I won't break it. I'll just move some of this stuff over. Move Moana's house over a little bit. That way you can still see Maui's house. Look how easy it is to move stuff in this game, y'all. I'm just saying. I know, Sonny. W Disney. <laughs> I feel, but you feel me, though? You got to feel what I'm saying right now. There's no way you don't feel me on this. Mostly to anybody that's played Animal Crossing. I mean, I think Stardew Valley was great, too. I actually like Stardew Valley a lot. I feel like this game came from Animal Crossing more than it came for Stardew Valley, though. Because Stardew Valley is still kind of in its own league because of the art style. The art style of Stardew Valley is very unique. Okay, I think I might want to move my house, y'all. Move the house? Move the house, move the store. See, y'all know if you watch my Animal Crossing videos, I like that city look. And then on top of it, just to add insult to in injury and just make the W even bigger for Disney, they have an undo button, bruh. I mean, come on, man. Like, again, with Animal Crossing, if you do something in that game and you do not like it, you have to spend the same amount of time it took you to do it to reverse it. And sometimes, I mean, it's great. I love it. Trust me, I'm going to do an Animal Crossing video come fall time, or soon, I should say. And I'm going to do a fall walkthrough of the island, show y'all my island. Because it's very nice. I spent thousands of hours on it. But I can't sit here and say that I can see what their goal was for that game long term. I mean, the fact that they didn't want to update it no more was kind of a, a shame to me. It was like, why y'all cut the update out? As soon as the game start getting all this love, you cut the updates. Okay, so let's, let's look at this from the sky. 
Y'all wanna rock the hottest merch in the game? Well, go over to SaneDaniel.com slash shop, man, where you can get all the new merch that I drop. I got hoodies, t-shirts, pillows, phone cases coming, lanyards, all kind of stuff, man. So go over to SaneDaniel.com slash shop, get the hottest merch, man. I got it on right now, because it's just so fly. Also, if you want my Uncensored Sim videos, you want access to all my content before it hits YouTube, and some content that never hits YouTube that's strictly exclusive, you gotta go over to the OnlyFans, man. Let's get back into the video. I really hate to get these trees and stuff out the way, but for me to really go in on a different design in here, I'm going to have to do that. So let's move some of these trees out the way just so I can really focus on what I'm doing. Okay, this is the town. Look at this view, man. This is just phenomenal, man. Phenomenal. Okay, this is a symmetric view. This is the castle. Come down. Now, I can do this where I leave my house over here create its own little oasis like I have because I want to move this store I think I just want to see like how stuff looks next to each other I probably should spend some time moving things around though like how would it look Ooh, I kind of like that little town towny kind of look maybe add some little trees in here too we could even do something like this like in between and then have a walkway where you walk down the street hmm I kind of like that idea y'all we had a little benches sitting around so it's like a little town tight knit town community I kind of like that y'all I kind of like that and we could even move goofy up here possibly I don't know and eh, goofy's house is a little bit hillbilly it ain't elite it ain't elite I don't think make build uh building I call him building I don't think he can come up here I think Remy could with the restaurant I think Remy could easily move up here I think goofy could have his stand up here if they let you put it up here they do not all right well guess that explain that that would have been nice to have that stand up there though so I'm thinking up here, we want this to feel like a little neighborhood. The only thing that I'm kind of running into a problem with is what side is going to be. Because we got all these nuggets right here, which I don't know why so many of these has, have spawned up. But they're really in the way, like heavily in the way. Because I was going to put, maybe do like the restaurant, the apartment right here. But I can't move this back. So I got to pull this out so far just to get it. I don't even think even now it's going to let me do it. So I, got, I might have to do some more missions before I really get into heavy decor. But see, this is what I was thinking. Maybe do, maybe do like side by side. And maybe not even. Maybe put my house over there in the cut. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like my house being in the cut like that. Y'all know I like being in the cut. I like being cozy. I could kind of create a cozy vibe. It's a little tight though. It's a little tight. But I could create a cozy vibe. The whole point of me saying all of this and doing all of this is will I move the store over here? See the way I'm doing this, I probably I should have probably prepped the land first before I started doing all of this because the land is not prepped at all. L planning right now. L planning. So I'm thinking about maybe doing it like this. You see what I'm saying? So maybe make a little street. See, but then that leaves Mickey kind of out here. Can I move them to different realms? Yeah, okay. So Mickey could move down here. If I really wanted to make this different, Mickey could go down here with Goofy. Because Mickey and Goofy's house, they really, they don't look like they belong in the city. High end stuff at all. I mean, Goofy got that damn porch with the wood. And Mickey looked like a playhouse. Oh, maybe it's Mickey's Playhouse. Wasn't that a show? I don't know, but I'm not rocking with that. I got the elite suburban. I'm a suburban dude. I got the suburban dude house. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking with that. And then we could be next to the bank. Oh, that's not a bank. That's the store. We could be next to the store, which I almost want to be next to the store. Maybe make that Remy's area and then put the store over here. I don't know. That makes it a little bit bigger, don't it? But see, I can't go too far back because these knots are here <laughs> what is the proper word for them tree stumps these tree stumps are here so whenever i can get these tree stumps moved up i could go ahead and put this like this now would i like to do the bank i keep calling this store the bank but it looks like a damn bank let's be one thou wow i don't like it like that as much the fact we got an undo button bro that is the greatest thing w game loft w disney do you, i'm just saying do you understand the time it would have taken to do something even remotely like this in animal crossing and what's funny is i can hit undo all and everything that i just did will go back to normal i'm not gonna do that because i don't want to do that right now but i'm just saying like all this time i spent 
which isn't even that much time. I could go back to the way it was if I didn't like this new idea. That's just so great. I do like having this towny kind of feel though. I like the towny kind of feel. The only thing that I worry about doing this with is what's going to be on the other side of the street. Because if I put the, the, the store here and I go ahead and put my house somewhere close over here or whatever I do when that time comes, how am I going to do? What if I move the house up though? So maybe create a secondary area since right now this is such everything is so in the way with these tree stumps what if i was to take the bank can i move it back anymore don't look like it okay so just hypothetical say we create like a little eating area next to the store so we we might should do that with the restaurant actually yo that might be kind of cool for the restaurant maybe have an outdoor eating area so maybe put the building over here with this one which this isn't going to fit right here because of all this nonsense. But if you could imagine the big boss stores over here. I don't know. I'm just thinking of some stuff, y'all. I'm just thinking of some stuff. And then say maybe make a little suburb right here. The only downside, though, is I don't really have any other houses I can make a suburb look like a suburb. Because Mickey's house doesn't look like a suburb house to me. It looks like a toy house. Of course, Moana's house isn't going to work. Wally, none of them are going to work. So it might be kind of lonely at the top. I'm going to go ahead and start prepping this land a little bit, though. Because regardless, we're changing it. We're changing it. So I'm not going to reverse it. I'm going to just leave it like this for right now. I'm going to go down in first person mode. And we're going to check out what we got. How this feels. See, all of this will be moved. So all of this will be gone. And then we'll be just walking across. So it'll feel like the plaza is actually the plaza. We'll come over here. Go to the store. So if... Well, I don't know. I want it to feel very cozy though. Very cozy, but yet built up like a little cozy city which is exactly what i did with animal crossing except in this game it's a lot easier and then i want my house to feel like a fall suburb i wonder if the seasons will change in here i, I don't think they will i'm thinking probably that's something they will add though so what are these these are cherries oh look at that we got cherries now y'all we got cherries i mean this this looks kind of good like that though I just don't know if I want to do the double layers. So like you have a layer here with a walkway and then maybe trees blocking the backyard and then you come to another layer and then the stores will be over here. Not sure if that's how I want to play that. Oh boy, what a morning. Oh, I need to go over here and tend to these, tend to these crops. Yeah. I forgot what I planted over here. Oh, these was the new seeds, right? So what is this? How many we get of this? Two? So we get two out of those. Let's see how much they sell for. Gotta do some business quick maths. I feel like I spent a lot of time doing nothing just a minute ago. But it's not. It's, it, I'm coming up with ideas and it takes a minute to come up with ideas. So how much do these sell for? These are 60. Oh, that's rice. $61 a pop. I don't think that's going to be worth it. I will keep that though for cooking. You could always cook some rice. It's just really hard to get an idea how I'm going to do this with these crops and everything here. So I'm going to go ahead and get these crops out the way. Might have to do something else a little bit until they finish growing. I don't know how long they take to grow. I wonder if I got this companion because I gave him an apple. Because that's if that's the case, you can you probably have a hummingbird. You can probably have a anything that's an animal in here. See, that would be kind of cool to have these little tree things down the street, down the suburb looking house street. I just really like the way this house looks. I don't know what all the rest of the updates is going to look like, but this one is really nice, man. This one got that like little Thanksgiving vibe for some reason to me. What is a Thanksgiving vibe? I really don't know, but it's giving me Thanksgiving vibes for some reason. Don't it look like, like you could have pumpkins outside going over here for Thanksgiving? Just good family times, good family vibes, you know what I mean? You know that's my energy half the time anyway, so... I mean, I'm probably the only person that created a whole storyline in Disney uh, Dreamlight to have a wife or a girlfriend, whatever. I'm just trying to... I'm really trying to look on a ground level to see how much... And I also want to keep a garden around my house. And I don't think I'm going to be able to do that. I'm going to have to have a separate garden. Let's harvest this. What is this? Three each? Got to keep that in mind. Three each, y'all. Three each. 
Getting a whole lot of whatever this is. This look like a seasoning. Um, go ahead and eat this banana. Yeah, three each. I know none of these seeds were cheap, so I can kind of mentally think of the profits in my head. What's going to be the best profitable farming item? So how much do we get for this? These are $41 for three so that that might be something that's spinach and you get three of them so that's 41 times three alexa what's 41 times three that's 123 dollars for i forgot where i got them from i think it was down here actually yeah so let's see the profit margin on that let's check this profit margin that's 45 dollars though let's see let's see so i still got my thing up here spinach so spinach is 45 dollars and we get a return of alexa what's 41 times 3 123 so we spend 45 and we get back 123 and tomatoes is the more profitable one before that which is you buy for eight and you get back 66 which is still a hefty m way more hefty profit than the spinach so spinach isn't as profitable as the tomatoes yet nothing has beat the tomatoes yet i don't know what this is but we're, we're gonna see what that do and see if that's any better doing the math for y'all so y'all don't have to worry about it you know what i'm saying okay back to the designing back to the designing i need to clean the, this stuff up though i need to get this land ready to be designed which means i need to pick up all this stuff i need to pick up these flowers i need to get my inventory cleaned out so i can pick all this stuff up and we could actually move things around on here because right now we can't move nothing around because everything's in the damn way and then when those crops actually come up we'll be able to do what we do and what are the things that we do we do what we do i gotta move my chest matter of fact let me go back to the crib real quick is there anything i could sell oh, i could sell a whole lot of stuff let me go to the house throw some of this stuff in my storage for the food storages and then i'm gonna sell some of this stuff we're gonna clean this thing up we're gonna at least get an idea of what we're gonna do hopefully we get the exact idea but i'm not not pushing it i'm gonna need another chest oh, i already got another chest i'm tripping so we got cherries now we got spinach now throw 50 stack in there i can throw this basil back in there i already got bananas in there i could throw my peppers in there throw this carrot in there the cocoa nuts why can't I throw them in there? Oh, because it's a 50 stack. All right, we'll transfer them over and then transfer the 50 stack back. Might as well max it out. Same with the blueberries. Transfer the 50 stack and then take the other 50 stack over there. So we just have 50 of everything. We got 50 zucchinis, 50 apples. Throw this oregano over there. Rice ain't going to fit. We're going to have to move rice to another. I wonder if we can make bigger chests. We have to be able to make bigger chests, right? I'm assuming. I mean, right now, we could just make double. But So we got the spinach. We need to throw the rice in here. I'm pretty sure you don't cook with cotton. It says it can be used in a lot of stuff, though. I'm going to throw cotton in here, even though I don't think you can cook with cotton. Garlic, we could throw the garlic in there. Okay, I think I think that's pretty much it for storage in the house then i have this exterior storage which i wonder when you move the chest yeah i'm a little scared to do that because this game has got its own little glitches every once in a while if you move the chest that's full of stuff and you remove it will it remove all the items that's in the chest i'm a little nervous to take that chance i'm not gonna sit here and tell no lies a little nervous to take that chance because if I lose these building materials after all this work I did creating them, I'm going to be a little heated about that. I don't need this soil. We can get rid of that soil. Say that iron ore, dream shard, coal, gold nuggets. All right, I think we good. Everything else can be sold or used for food. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to sell everything else or use it for food. And then we're going to get into actually... I'm going to say the apples for food. I always use the apple for food. I should say the berries, though. I think the berries are more prominent than the apples. I'm going to sell the apples, save the berries for food. I think 50 berries is enough. And then we'll sell everything else. It was damn near $20,000, man. Okay, now all we got in my inventory is berries, which is cool. Can you move this stuff around? I think if you hold it, yeah. 
All right, perfect. You hold it, you can move it around. I'm going to change Bay's nose real quick. Let's change Bay's nose real quick. Her nose kind of got a little Michael Jackson action going. Yeah, she got a little Michael Jackson action going. Uh, Let's give her... I kind of like this one, actually. Yeah, that one's cool. Okay, um... All right, so now that everything is cleaned out the inventory, let's pick up all these flowers. All these flowers, man. Get all these rocks out the way. Completely prep this area for construction because we're going to do some serious construction on this area. Hey, look at all this oregano. Oregano. I think it's called oregano. I mean, who knows? Y'all know how speech is, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, it is what it is, shout It is what it is. We're going to dig this up. I should have been did this, to be honest. But there's so many things you can do in this game. Like, you don't really have to rush it, which is another great thing about this game because it doesn't have any limit on what you can do so you can play this game for 30 40 hours straight and just keep having stuff to do this is what i was talking about about fortnite a couple episodes ago or last episode how they make you like they almost put a hindrance on how much growth you can have at the beginning of the season i think that's a stupid thing to do because that's the biggest hype like imagine look just imagine this using this game as, as an example imagine if this game came out and you could only get to level 10 in one week now we had a level i think 27 or something like that so just imagine you can get to a level 10 in one week and then you had to come back the second week to be able to level up to level 15 and then come back the third week to be able to level up to level 15 or si or 20 it would just kill the momentum of the game like i don't know about y'all but when i like a game i like to play that bit all day and night like until i pass out that's just how i like to play it because it's fun and i want to keep it going see to me that's where fortnite is like what are you really doing and i think they do it for their investors because a lot of times these companies you know all these companies that's public have to answer to those investors and they have to keep certain amounts of traffic coming to the game every week or every month so if everybody kind of burns out on it, gets the battle pass unlocked, they probably worry that nobody's going to play the game for the rest of the season, which, you know, some people would and some people wouldn't. Because if you added more content, check this out, if you added more content to Fortnite where you could play the game all day and night and had the super styles and all of that unlocked, and it's up to you how quick you want to get it done. Of course, pace it so people can get it in the season, but... Leave it up to the person how fast they want to play Fortnite. You know what I mean? Like if people want to grind 24 hours a day playing Fortnite until they unlock all the super styles and then be done with the whole battle pass in a week, that's on them. Most people ain't going to do that. So why not let the people that like to play the game a lot up front play that joint? I really wish I could get rid of these stumps. But yeah, I don't I don't get that. I'm, I'm kind of a little disappointed in the way Fortnite has been recently. It's like, you know this game ain't going to last forever unless you keep it fresh and they not keeping it too fresh man they trying to but i'm not seeing it i'm not seeing it for another 10 years i put it to you that way i don't even know if it'll last another five because a lot of people that used to play fortnite do not play fortnite no more and to be honest the only reason i play it is because i'm so invested in it at this point so it's like every battle pass i know i need to get that battle pass and get them skins because eventually they're gonna be gone and then i'm gonna wish i had them so it's like an it's like an investment at this point. I'm gonna clean up down here too because I might I might make stuff down here. So I'm gonna clean up all of this stuff as well. So it's not all in the way. I had this mission where I had to find worms. And I was digging, you see, look how many holes I dug up around this lake looking for worms. I didn't realize that the worms would actually be a lump in the ground like this. I was going crazy looking for them damn worms, man. It's like, where are the worms at, yo? The swarms. Hey, did y'all like that KSI uh, swarms? And I don't know how many of y'all watched the boxing. The boxing thing. I don't know how many of y'all watched the boxing thing. But I'm really into the YouTube boxing scene myself. Um, I'm a big fan of this whole uh, celebrity influencer entertainment boxing whatever else they do i think that's that was the best thing that ever happened i mean not the best thing that ever happened but a really good thing that happened it creates a lot of excitement it also gets the people paid i like people to win so they get a lot of money for it they get a lot of um i did not mean to do that now that's gonna mess me up 
I need to water that now. And hopefully that blooms before I need to get up out of here. But yeah, I love the YouTube boxing thing. I love the um, the buzz around it. I like that all the people can eat from it. And it's hype. You know what I'm saying? It's very exciting. I can't wait to see KSI and Jake Paul fight, man. That is, I just planted it again. I can't wait to see them two fight, though, man. That's going to be such a hype event because Jake been talking smack for so long and KSI been talking smack for so long. And I had them two in the ring and finally, like, who is going to win after all this smack talking? And they both got skills. I've been I've been rocking with Jake since he started. Cause I told you Jake lived like I don't know thirty minutes away from me. Jake's hometown is like thirty minutes away from me, so I gotta rock with him just off that. Plus I I, I like him anyway. He cool dude. You know what I'm saying? Gotta support the the fellow Ohioans. I didn't know Speed was from Ohio. I found that out the other day. I was like, yo, no wonder I rock with Speed, man. Dude from Ohio too. I think he from uh he from down south in Ohio, Cincinnati or Columbus, something like that. He ain't from Cleveland, but he's still from Ohio, and that that's that's enough for me to be rocking with him anyway. Even though I told you I like Speed, Speed is hilarious to me, man. I mean, he goofy as hell. He do some crazy stuff, but like it's just genius though. Like I think a lot of his fans don't realize the things he do is staged and not real. Uh, not, not that they're not real, but they're over exaggerated. They're over exaggerated heavily. But I like it though. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. It's like the kind of comedy that I used to love. Like that's why I like Martin, Kenan, and Kale. Like that funny, all that people falling and acting a damn fool. That stuff be just like killing me, yo. I be dying laughing. So, um, Speed is very much like that. And it's very funny. And I've also seen so many people try to be like him. That's even funnier. It's not funny in the same type of humor, but it's, it's funny like damn shame type funny. Like they even try to talk like him. It's crazy. And it's very, very bad because Speed has it down because he's the only one that really did it like that. But then other people trying to mimic screaming and acting a fool like that is just very, very bad. Not not a good look at all. But, you know, when something works, people will try to copy it. They don't realize that that is not the success that you want to get on YouTube because you want to become an individual on YouTube or any other platform. So if you want to be successful on YouTube or any other platform, that's what I suggest you do. Be yourself. Never try to imitate somebody else and just be yourself. You can take a little piece of something here and there. Like, you know what I'm saying? If you got the same lingo, like whatever. But don't try to imitate them to the point where you're just like a knockoff version of them. Like, don't do that. Because if you do that, just like hey, anything else that's a knockoff that. version, it don't hold up to the original. And that's important. Okay, I think I got everything pretty much cleaned up down here that can be cleaned up. So, this is all the stuff I pulled up. I could probably drop some of this stuff in my storage containers. I might as well. I mean, since I'm doing it, might as well finish plucking these trees, too. Gotta pluck these trees, y'all. Gotta pluck these trees, you know what I'm saying? Gotta pluck these trees. One little, little tree. I was an inside joke. It was this dude. You know, I used to live in apartments, man. My apartment building was kind of like the projects. I'm not going to lie. But I had came home from school one day. It was this dude. Because, like, coming into the building, it was a door, a metal door, then a little hallway, then another door. So you'd had a metal door that was no lock on it. So anybody could just come into the metal door part. And then you had the lock on the metal door that was inside of that door where you opened it and got into the building. And uh, it was a dude standing in that middle door area. And he was like, you could barely understand him. He was like, oh, you want a little tree? I want a little tree. And all I could hear was tree. And I know he was trying to sell some, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, I was still in school. I wasn't even smoking or nothing then. I was like 14 or something like that. So I was like, nah, I'm good. But it just became a joke because he just kept saying, like, he said that shit like seven times, bro. So it just became a little joke. Like, I want a little tree. A little bit of tree, man. A little bit of tree. It's just funny stuff y'all remember from that apartment. That apartment was crazy, man. That apartment was crazy. What's, what's crazy, too, is it really started out pretty decent, and it just got so bad down there. Like, we used to have a trash chute, and it was cool because the trash chute was down at the end of the hallway. So it was a, it was a big building, five-story building. And uh, I don't know how many units to a floor, but probably like 50 units 100 units to a floor and you would go down the hallway which each three wing of the building would go to the same chute 
So you go to the shoot and you could throw your trash in the shoot and you ain't got to go outside or nothing like that. And it was convenient because all you had to do is take your trash down the hallway and throw it in the shoot. But what started to happen is you had all these dumbasses, or should I say a better word? You had all these damn, you had a bunch of, it's a Disney game I'm playing. I don't want to use naughty words. A whole bunch of bad people. Let's put it that way. Bad people, not good people. Bad people. <laughs> they would take, they would basically set the shoot on fire. So I don't know how they did it. I don't know if they threw lighter fluid down there. I don't know what they did, but they would basically set the entire trash chute on fire. The trash chute went all the way down the middle of the building, down to the bottom floor to throw it in a dumpster. And I used to have a fear as a little kid that I would fall down the chute <laughs> and then I would get stuck in this compactor, this trash compactor. Even though the building didn't even have a trash compactor, but I thought it did. But yeah, they would basically set the shoot on fire and them doing that. Oh, I put the cotton out here. I probably should have left the cotton out here. That makes more sense. I think I'm going to take it out the house and put it out here. I don't have no space for these dandelions. Matter of fact, I'm going to just take the cotton and put it in the house. It's a more intensive ingredient anyway. So yeah, they used to set the trash chutes on fire. And then what ended up happening is they completely cut out the trash chute altogether. And then everybody had to go outside and take out their trash. And that just ended terribly. Because, of course, this was a Section 8 building. And you had a bunch of, you know, not good people uh, living in the building. So they would just throw the trash in the hallway. Trash would be all over the place. Uh, that's why I say it was basically like living in the projects. It wasn't the projects, but it basically was the projects because it was Section 8 living in Section 8. If you ever lived in a Section 8 building, y'all know how it is. Um, you got some good people that's just trying to live, and then you got a bunch of nonsense to, to go along with it. So uh, that was the trash situation. So that was a mess, man. We would have trash everywhere. People would pee in the hallways, pee in the stairwells. Again, just kind of part of that, that whole energy of having that building like that and uh yeah it was crazy man it was crazy i loved it there though but i didn't like the outside of my apartment <laughs> you know what I'm saying? like my apartment was lit and we had it hooked up and it was dope real modern real clean but the building itself was kind of bad that's why i always tell you i want to actually go back and buy it one day in the future go back and buy the uh the whole thing it was five buildings four or five story buildings and one four story building I know it cost probably like 30, 40 million, 20 million, something like that. Because, I mean, just the amount of rent money you can make off of that is insane. But I would love to go down there and renovate it and make it very lit. Like on some Trump Towers type vibe, gated off everything. That would be phenomenal. But, uh, yeah, and on top of all that, now you got the Section 8 going. You got no trash chute. You already got people just peeing and littering, throwing trash all over the place. And then they allow people to have pets. Time to now, this was after I left. I had already left by then. But, like, two years after I left, they start letting people have pets. So, you had all that garbage, all them nasty situations, and now people had dogs and cats. Which, I think cat people always had cats in there. Nobody knew. But the dog game was a, totally a, not allowed. Like, you couldn't have no dog. So, they started having dogs. I was like, bro, I can't even imagine how nasty that damn place is that you allow people to have dogs. Because if they was peeing and using the bathroom and the stairwell and throwing trash all over the place, I know for a fact them people is letting their dogs dookie in the hallway and in the stairwell and everywhere else. Like, I already know that. Like, if they was doing it themselves, they definitely letting the dog do it, which is a shame. But, you know, it is what it is, man. But, yeah, that's just a little bit of a backstory on that. It's a crazy little spot, man. Had a lot of good memories there, though. A lot of good memories there. Whole, Actually, my whole childhood was there, so... All the way until I turned, uh, what was it, 20? I think when I turned 20, we moved. So I spent my entire, basically my whole life down there. And it was crazy because as soon as we moved, my whole, like, attitude changed. Like, being down there, you know, you got to be on edge. You got to be ready for everything. You got to have that kind of energy about you. And then when you get out of there, you completely like and like see other things. You know what I'm saying? It's just different. So it's a little different how I'm living now, even though the area is not the best. It's better than down there, even though I definitely still. It's funny because I hear like if I'm just chilling, I hear the gunshots pop off and all of that. But they further away. It's like not too far away, but they're far enough away that it's not extremely alarming. 
I mean, preferably, I like to live in a place that you don't hear any gunshots going off in the middle of the night. But if I am going to have to hear gunshots going off, at least let them be in the distance where they not right next to my window type vibes. That's why I sold my grandma's house because I actually that was the first house I actually had. I had a house to myself, everything, bro. But I sold it because it was in such a bad neighborhood that I really didn't need to be down there all the time. And then having stuff down there, like I had a lot of expensive stuff down there. And uh, they had already broke into the garage, busted the whole damn door up on the garage. So it was just it was just a matter of time before they pushed it and tried to break into the actual house. So I had to get rid of it. I, I kind of regret it now getting rid of it just because I'm more business minded now. And I feel like I could have made a lot of money with that house. And it was a paid off house, beautiful house, but it was just in a terrible location. It wasn't a big house, but it was it was big enough where you could have made it lit inside. And a lot of times that's what matters. Can you make it lit inside? I'm just playing with this a little bit. This part reminds me of playing The Simpsons. Y'all ever play The Simpsons Tapped Out? I used to love that game, man. I absolutely love that game. Matter of fact, if I think about it when I'm editing, I'll show y'all my town. I'll uh, show you how much I used to play it. I used to play that game so much. I can't put these like this. I'll never be able to get them plucked. It'd be kind of cool to do a little street, though, and they had the trees like on the street with the bench. See, see the vibe I'm going with? Something like that. I don't know, though. I don't know. I'm just testing some things out. Testing some things out. I wonder why some of these holes I could make go away and then some of them I can't. Oh, I can't. I just got to use the right item. So if I just place this in the middle of this, it'll make them go away. That is a key hack right there because I thought I was going to have to dig up all them holes. So if I really wanted to be funky with it, I could take the... Ooh, look at that. Get rid of all them dirt patches. Will it kill my crops? Yeah, it can't go over the crops. But that's kind of okay, though. Look at that. We cl that's, how, that's how you clean up that dirt real fast. I think I might have deleted my fence on accident. That's all right, though, because we changing this whole town, man. We changing this whole town. W episode right here. The beginning was making a baddie. Now we changing the town. Um, And I might still leave my house over here. I, I don't know. I don't know for a fact if I'm going to leave my house over here. But I just want to get something different. So I'm going to take up all these fences, everything. All of this is coming up. I didn't want to take this fence up, but it kind of made me take it up. Because I, like, I think I like the fence around that. I just want it to feel like a really tight neighborhood like a really cool neighborhood to live in where you got the little stores you got the little disney vibes it's kind of it's kind of looking like that though i mean of course some things just can't be done right now because some things can't be moved but if we use our imagination which is what we should always do i could picture see you see i can kind of picture it you can kind of picture the vibe i'm going for now with the big walkway here, they go all the way down like that. You know what I mean? It's kind of hard to do it from this far away, but you get the vibes. I need to just move closer. I don't know why I do that. Sometimes I'll be making my life harder for what reason? I don't know. Yeah, like, you know, do it like this. Then bring this down. Bring that over, down, over. You know what I'm saying? You see how it's looking? And then, of course, we'll go up and over again. Yeah, see? Now, I don't think I want my house to be the first thing that you see, but since right now that those stumps are there, and maybe I will put Mickey up here. I mean, his house, it ain't looking too bad over here. Maybe make a little town circle, like a little fountain. I should have a fountain in here, shouldn't I? I definitely got some stuff because I've been unlocking stuff all doing this friendship stuff. So I said stuff like a hundred times. I should have had Maui's. There's a bike. That's kind of cool. Hey, what if you could ride the bike, bro? I would lose it if you could ride the bike. If you could ride the bike, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to straight up lose I'm going to get up, go outside. I'm going to just straight up lose it if you could ride the bike. I don't expect to ride the bike, though, to be fair. Where's the fountain, though? I should have a fountain in here for Maui, right? I don't understand why I don't have a fountain for him. Because he's maxed out. Yeah, I'm not. I don't understand why I don't have a fountain. Because I was thinking the fountain would be kind of cool if you could add that in certain areas. Like, this is a fireplace. You see what I'm saying? Like, maybe have a little. We could even do maybe something here, too. 
I mean, we, we kind of have a centerpiece already, which is this. So I was thinking on the edge. You see, you see the energy, though. You see the energy over here. It's giving, it's giving me that, like, it's giving me that fable look. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's got that fable look going, and I like that fable look. Walking through the town. Got the little bike over here. You know what I'm saying? Look at that. Look at that. That's looking real nice right there. Got the bike action. I could see this becoming a nice little look. Got the little bench somewhere. I don't know exactly where we had a bench, but we could have a bench somewhere and the little trees. I don't know what this table is for. Oh, maybe that's for the outside of the restaurant. Oh, you know what? I think it is. I think it is. That's to create like an outdoor eating area like I was talking about. This over here is looking mighty cozy, though. I just think I would want to put the bank or the store on the other side and put my house in the cozy part. But since I can't do that right now... I'm going to have to leave it like that for now until I can get all these stumps up out of here, which I'm hoping is soon because I'm tired of looking at all them damn stumps, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired of looking at them stumps. Had to stomp your beat if she keep telling me about some stomps. I'm liking how this is looking, though. Liking how this is looking big time. Bigly. Bigly liking this right now. W W New Town Design. W New Town Design. You see the energy, though? You see the energy. I want that real cozy, well thought out. Now, I might have to widen this up some because I don't want to be like running into everything either. It might be a little too cozy, but I want to have that cozy town look. This took me so long to do an Animal Crossing, man. Like when y'all see my town, you'll see what I'm saying. But like you can go see it now if you don't know. I, I got videos of, of Animal Crossing. But uh, yeah, man, um, I kind of forgot what the hell I was saying. Oh, the town vibe. It took me so long to create that at Animal Crossing because I had to make a lot of fake villagers and all of that to really create a, you know, I had to make fake stores. So I, I made like ice cream parlors. I made a gym. I made all of that out of fake villagers, which are basically just um, extra Nintendo accounts that you can do that with. I might have made it a little too tight over here. A little too tight. I need a little tiny tree. Where the tiny trees at? Where I throw the little tiny trees at? I know I had some little slimmies. Where the little slimmies at? I think they was the white birch ones. The white birch slimmies. Well, this is one. Yeah, there's one. See, these are the perfect size trees for in a town environment. They big enough without being too big. See, I can make a little community over here, man. Like, I'm just kind of throwing items around right now because I'm not fully, I can't fully do it now anyway, so I'm not going to be able to finish it or nothing like that. But throwing these ideas around are a big deal because once I'm able to get them stumps up, we'll pretty much know exactly how we want to do this. So let me go ahead and go on the ground level and see how this all feels because this is totally different now. Wait a minute. Did you see that? It just threw the, the house back. It might have been because my dude was standing there. Well, it's not my dude now. It's my girlfriend. <laughs> my girl was standing there. Didn't want to hit my girl while she was standing there. Let's go back in there and move that back over, though, because I don't want that. I want to get an idea how that feels like over here like that. Move some things around. You know what I'm saying? Just to give you a feel of how it feels. Yeah, see there we go. All right, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We got a little bit of a little bit of tight knit town. Yeah, this is a little too tight. This is a little too tight. I like it tight, but this is a little too tight. I'm gonna have to widen this up. Probably as wide as this is to the next layer of houses, so you could actually walk around over here. Yeah, you can't get on the bike. That's okay though. That's okay though. That's okay though. I, it's still W Disney. Still W Game Loft. Um. You know, they could add a bike in here, though, because this is a pretty big map. You could jump on the bike and ride around. I could see them adding that. That's another good idea for y'all if y'all listening, man. I'm telling you, man, add me to the team, bro. We're going to make this game legendary. I mean, you know, I'm giving you free advice, but I'm down to be on that payroll, bro. You still said Let's make Disney Dreamlight the best game that ever existed. W Disney, W Game Loft. Let's do it, man. Let's add the preset characters so you can have a couple different characters you can play with. Let's add some fighting where you can fight the little bad creatures in the woods, enchant your sword 
work with the wizard. Um, let's go ahead and add companionship. So this girl could actually be my companion in, in the game. We could have one companion. You could open it up so anybody could be whatever they want to be. Be with whoever they want to be. You know what I'm saying? Keep it friendly. Um, what else? What else was W ideas? Oh, a little bike. A little bike to get around. Or some kind of form of transportation. Maybe a hoverboard. That would be kind of cool because that would keep it almost the size of the character. I'm giving y'all free ideas, bro. I'm just saying. Let's make this game greater than any game that ever existed. I mean, it's pretty much there anyway, to be completely honest with you. They just need to add a few more things. And I mean, it's like up there. And then they're going to have updates too. And the graphics, I love the graphics. The graphics are just, the graphics just hit different, man. I, I just love the, the cartoon. This is so crispy, 4K, colorful. I just really like that. So yeah, this is going to be the idea we do with the town. Of course, like I said, I can't do it at this particular moment because I got to get the stuff to get those stumps up. But I don't think Mickey's house and Goofy's house is that bad up here. I mean, it's not good enough to be next to the, the store in my house, but it's good enough to be up here in the little neighborhood. I think we could make it work. Just to end the episode with a bang, let's try another outfit. W Disney, man. Make sure y'all post that in the comments. <laughs> I mean, I didn't said it a hundred times. You got to post it in the comments. W Game Loft, W Disney. Um, tweet at them. Tell them about me because I'm trying to work with this game company and be in this game with them because this game has greatness on its horizon and i mean oh, a lot of people don't know about it they need some spokespersons sense. man they need some spokespersons and you can't have everybody look and be the same you gotta have some people that's different and that's where i fit into the boat you know what i'm saying i fit into the boat that's one thing that's really cool about um some of the youtubers that i watch like for instance floss flossy carter he one of my favorite YouTubers, and he does tech. And ain't nobody really like Floss that's in tech. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people, they real, like, properly spoken and all of that. But, like, a lot of times, like, I don't really care about all that, man. I really want to know about the, the whole normal life version of tech. Where we out here, we really trying to stunt. We really trying to look good with the phones. We really trying to see the, the certain things that matter, the way the cameras look certain ways. The, the real, I can't be cussing on here, but the real, the real in, the real in stuff. You know what I'm saying? The real in stuff. Not the little megapixel, all of that. We want to know the real stuff, like how it look like when I'm filming this or just normal consumer stuff. And, that, and I like that. And he got a lot of deals with some companies, I think. Like the Samsung has flown him out to events and gave giving them exclusives. <laughs> I don't think Apple did, but uh, yeah, man, it's just it's good to have people that are different that bring a more real aspect to your product because everybody don't want to be like proper and perfect. You know what I'm saying? There's there's a very big it's a big there's a big market for being real and not being real like forced being real, just being real, just being you, doing what you do. Long story short, Disney Game Loft, let's work together, man. You know what I'm saying? Let me let me help you make this game the best game that you've ever seen ever to exist. Look how she sits. She even sit like a Disney princess. W Disney, bro. W Disney. I love y'all. Post in the comments what you thought about this episode. Post in the comments what you think about my new town layout that's going to be coming soon. I'm going to progress a little bit off camera. Hopefully get rid of these stumps. stumps and uh, hopefully we can get that bank moved over or my house moved back one of the two and then we could actually get in here and get a little bit more decorating but i'm gonna max out some friendships a little bit of that kind of stuff and i'll be back man i love y'all peace yeah, look at moana moana you ain't got nothing on my girl though yo you ain't got nothing on my girl moana you 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 plus moana 16 my girl 26 my girl 26 moana you can't mess with her you know what I'm saying? Look at look at Moana. She trying. She trying. She was trying to be Bay, but she ain't she she ain't as bad as the chick I made, y'all. Plus, I ain't gotta worry about it because my girl is 26, not 16. You know what I mean? Moana cool though. Moana cool though. I just love the graphics on here, man. It's like it really make you feel like you in this town. It's just so perfect. Mostly in 4K like this. I'm about to pause the episode, but I'm just looking around it's like damn man it just hit different let's see how much these zucchinis is worth is this a zucchini nah you get three of each you get three of each so let's see how much this zucchini is worth that's not a zucchini though you get three of each and each one is worth 
Whoa, one hundred and fourteen dollars, and you get three of each. Wait a minute, y'all. Wait a minute. We might have just found a new winner. We might have just found a new winner. What is this even called? You getting one fourteen for one, which means each C is giving you a total of Alexa. What's one hundred and fourteen times three? Three forty two each. Now, how much how much is okra cost though? It couldn't have been that much, but it might still not over profit the uh, still might not out profit the carrots, not the carrots, the tomatoes. Let's see how much is the okra. It remind me of my grandma. She used to like okra. She said, "You want some okra?" She would even call it okra. It's okri. Damn, it's one thirty-five. So this one thirty-five gives you back a total of three forty-two. Now we gotta do some quick maths here. Uh, we gotta do some quick maths here, y'all. So tomatoes is giving you Alexa. What's sixty-six minus eight? So tomatoes is giving you fifty-eight dollars per pure profit off of one seed this is giving you alexa what's 342 minus 135 this one is giving you a pure profit of 200 per seed which wouldn't that mean that would mean that okra is now the winner right i mean you could argue that okra takes longer to grow but i mean pure per seed price Okra would be making you two hundred and seven dollars in profit per seed, and tomatoes only making you fifty eight dollars per seed. Carrots, carrots would make you thirty dollars, around thirty dollars, thirty four dollars per seed. Yeah, so carrots is thirty four, but they they pop up damn near in like ten minutes. You have carrots. Tomatoes take twice as long as carrots, but they produce fifty eight dollars. Okra seems to take longer than everything but it produces $200 worth of profit. So I'm gonna have to say that okra is the new winner, yo. It costs $13,000 to buy 99 of these. But if my math is right, so it'll cost $13,000 to buy these, 13.3K. But your profit on that should be, Alexa, what's 342 times 99? 33,958. I think that's what she said. So you talking about going from 13, you put 13K in and you get 33.9K back. And then your total profit minus that. Alexa, what's 39,000? No, what's 34,000 minus 13,000? So roughly, give or take a couple dollars, you'll be getting back $21,000 pure profit after 100 seeds. So if you did 200 seeds, that's $42,000. Now, I don't know how long that's going to take. That is worth it. I'm going to go ahead and buy them then. I spent damn near all my money on them. Yeah. Whoa, where we going? <laughs> it just take you back, yeah. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go crazy, man. I'm going to go crazy with the okra farming off camera. I'll let you know when I come back. Is it worth it? Uh, I was supposed to be pausing this episode anyway. So I love y'all. Let me know in the comments what you thought about this episode, of course. And make sure you tell Disney and Gameloft to hire me, whether it be on Twitter or wherever it be, because they need to they need to hire me, man. You know what I'm saying? W Sunny, W Disney, W Gameloft. Let's get it. Let's get it cracking, man. I wonder if I made a line, just a full line, would that be easier to to farm instead of making a patch? I should have just left the patch I had down here. I didn't know I was gonna still have to be farming. I should have known that, but it's all good. I love y'all. Peace. That was. Amazing. Hey, go check out Sunny D. It's like the great Sunny D. Hey. All of those long, hard hours of walking definitely pay off. I see that. I see that. Sunny Daniel Enterprises.